you've worked with Earl for quite a, quite yeah. a long time. Earl Shaw. Oh, um, long time. So, from an outsider's perspective, what makes him special? If I you had to pick I, one thing. One thing that makes Earl special, I think, is different from the rest of us, is his ability to smile at you and you know it's not fake, it's genuine. Yeah. Earl is uh, truly, and you, you, when he smiles and he laughs the way he does, it kind of uh, uh, hypnotizes people. People <laughs> feel like they're Earl's friends from the day that they met him. Yeah. He's a very open, sincere, genuine individual, and his personality is probably his greatest asset. Okay. You know. So, uh, I, so <clears throat> let, let me follow that up by saying this. If I asked 20 of your friends in network marketing, top achievers, if they could say, what makes you different? What do you think they'd say? What makes you special? That I work really hard. i tell you what, guys, <laughs> listen to that. Because that what did you hear from Nathan Rick? What did you hear from Nat and Shanita Paranaputra? What did you hear from Randy Gage? What did you hear from... You know, Mark Yarnell and, and Todd Smith and Earl Shaw and everybody. What'd you hear? Work your face off. You know, if you, it, 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 it takes care of so many problems if you do. Well, you, you, work know, hard. you know, Eric, a lot of people, for some reason, and I don't know how this ever started, it started a long time before I ever got in this business, but for some reason, people think that. You treat network marketing like a like a hobby. Yeah, it's not. It's a business, and it can be a multi million dollar a year business for people, and it has for millions of people. But just because a program you can start a business for a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three thousand dollars, whatever the cost to start that business, they treat it like a hobby. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't spend your money. If you were going to buy a restaurant, it was going to cost you a hundred thousand dollars. Believe me, I bet you'd be down there. Uh, they're making sure Even if the you had a bad right. day, you had a bad week, or had a bad you're, month, you're, you're invested. If you, you know, if you have a bad day in, in, in the network marketing business, which, which a lot you, of people, that's it. They're done. They, yeah, they just, you know, they just. Oh well, that's it. I can't do the business. Well, let me ask you this: You say you work hard. Tell me what work hard. Well, is. what what is that? When I mean? say work hard, uh, give, give I mean me a day. My ethics, my work. I, I do the same thing. But give, over and give, over. Give, give me a day of working hard. What's a hard working day for you? Well, I get Describe up, it for me. Uh, I get up in the morning about 7.30. Uh, I take my son to school uh, every day. I go. I come back and I go on a three-mile walk. It doesn't do sound like working hard so far. Well, I don't start working hard. Then after okay. I do my bow flex, and, you know, I may go swimming in the summer in the morning. And then about I'll have a cup of coffee, a couple of cups, uh, you know, some energy bars. And then about 9.30, after I get through checking my mail, then I plan my day, what I'm going to do, who I'm going to call, and because networkers, uh, we have a luxury uh, that if we're successful, we own our time, so yeah. we're not punching a clock. Yeah. So I try to start working around 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. and get on the calls, do my three-way calling. If a lot of times we do conference calls during the day. Conference calls, three-way calls, if you're not doing that or you're not familiar with it, it's just when you get on the phone. With, with one a person on your team and a prospect, and you provide some third-party validation for that person. Exactly. Which, which, in my opinion, is... Secret weapon. Is the best way... It's the best way I've ever built business for my team, and I do a lot of three ways. Yeah. I did. Like how just, many three just coming over here, uh, it's about Today. an hour and a half. Well, but less, about an hour, a little over an hour drive from my home in Arlington over here to Earl's house. But I did... Uh, Five, five three ways in about 60 minutes. Hmm. But it's not work. No. See, uh, well, it's work, but... It, it's work, but, you know, my... It's, it's not drudgery, right? I guess the best way I can describe why I love network marketing is because I love people. Yeah. I love to meet new people. I've got friends all over the world that I would have never know if I hadn't been in this business. Right. And the thing is, my daddy told me, he's, you know, he was a cotton farmer, and he loved... To grow things. And he said, son, if you find something you love to do and you can put food on the table, then you'll never have to work a day in your life. Right. And he never so worked. He, you, he, I mean, he, that was labor out there yeah. on that farm. But he, but he loved it. it. And, and he didn't consider it. Like like yeah, he didn't consider it work. 
All right, let me back up to your schedule. So how many three ways do you do in a typical day? For the last month, I've probably been doing probably about 25 to 30 a day. 25 to 30 a day. And, and most of them last, the short one's five minutes and the long one's 15 minutes. Yeah, so you're just, you're going. Yeah. You're talking to people, talking to people, talking to people, and it's either your prospects or doing a three-way with your upline or people you're working yeah, with, exactly. or it's somebody in your downline, their prospects, and you're talking with them. Right. And we, you're just talking to people, and they know, most of the time they've looked at a tool or something, and you're there to help you know, move them to the next they've step. They've been to the website, they've watched a video on, on the, the internet or something. The DVD, and then when I'm planning my day in the morning, I'll call my team that I'm working with that day, and I said, okay, yeah, have you got any three ways? And they said, yeah, I'd like to do three. And I said, what time do you want to do them? They said, well, how about two to three? Right. Or seven to eight tonight? Yeah. You just pencil them in. And then everybody else, I said, I can't. I'm going to be working with Eric, for instance, right. tonight right. of that time. Right. Because you got to make... You're professional. Well, yeah. You, it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be there to help them make money. And if I can't assist them making money, guess what? Yeah. I'm not going to make any money. How long do you do three ways with them before you say, look, I've been given three ways, now you need to start giving three ways because no, I can't do it for your whole group. You, you know, it depends. Yeah, because you can't. It's impossible It'll to kill do. You. So you have to duplicate that down. But uh, normally, uh, the average person, now there's some really quick studies out there. I mean, they do it after two or three yep. calls. Normally, I'll do maybe seven, eight with them. By seven, then, eight, they yeah. know. And at some point, at yeah. around ten or something, and you got to say you got to start giving some three ways. Yeah, you know, them, so. if you do seven with them, I mean, that's that's basically an hour, say roughly an hour, an hour and a half training. Yeah, and they know how it's done because once they hear it's you, over and over and over, then the they can just do because they're going to be doing the same thing that I did for the person that we did the three way with mm -hmm. that got into the business. Mm -hmm. So that person is not going to from me. Now he's going to be hearing it from his upline. Yep, and. Down the road it goes. So he's got not only me, but then he's got the, the person that's doing it for him. Yep. And so then he becomes, it's, it's moves it moves down the daisy chain. Uh, it's called duplication. 